I'm Callan Hobman. Here's some of the stories making headlines on this Saturday. The woman blamed for causing a horrific crash in Windsor Hills has been arrested. The CHP says she will be booked as soon as she's released from the hospital. The moment was captured on surveillance video. The driver is suspected of speeding through an intersection, running a red light in the middle of the day. She's identified as 37-year-old Nicole Linton, arrested on suspicion of vehicular manslaughter. Linton sustained moderate injuries in the collision. Among the six killed, a pregnant woman and her unborn child. Back here at home, at least one person has died in a crash in Delano. According to CHP's incident page, a Dodge Challenger collided with another car at 2 o'clock this morning and caught fire. It happened at the intersection of Garces Highway and Melcher Road. No word yet on what caused that crash. In other news, school will soon be in session, and now is the time to get that back to school supplies. Today, the outlets at Tahone and Casa of Kern County are teaming up to ensure kids are ready to start the year, getting free backpacks for families stocked with back to school essentials. Outlets at Tahone Lifestyle Ambassador Lexi Crosby says multiple stores are also offering deals on items for families on a budget. We really want to be mindful of our teachers, kids, and parents, and make sure that we have their best interests in mind. School supply stations will open at the outlets starting at 1 p.m. as long as supplies last. For more back to school information, head to our website, turn to 23.com. Well, now let's take a look at our weather forecast as we head into our weekend with 23ABC's Ava Kirshner. This is your seven day forecast for Bakersfield right now. We finally broke out of our heat wave, and today we are seeing a high of 97. Tomorrow as well, Monday 98, and a slight chance of precipitation on Tuesday with a high of 96. Potential to go back into those double, triple digits by Thursday and Friday, but other than that, double digits until Wednesday. Our mountains are where we're seeing the bigger chance of monsoonal moisture. 20% chance on Tuesday and Wednesday for Lake Isabella. Slight chance in Tehachapi and Fraser Park as well, but other than that, upper 90s for Lake Isabella this week, upper 80s for Tehachapi and the upper 80s for Fraser Park as well. So we are still tracking that monsoonal moisture. It looks like a dry weekend and of course those warm summer temperatures. Still seeing that heat. That'll do it for this update. We'll have another one for you later today.